intervenes with two new stars of The Crown. She's Sean in Room with a View, Harry Potter, Ocean's 8 and The King's Speech. Now she steps into the glittering shoes of Princess Margaret. It's Helena Bonham Carter! And how do you follow Broadchurch, Fleabag, and a Best Actress Oscar for The Favourite? Well, you play Her Majesty the Queen, of course. Please welcome Olivia Coleman. Welcome, no, welcome, no, welcome, no, welcome, no, welcome. You're right there. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, since you were last here, Olivia Coleman, I feel like our own Olivia Coleman now has an Oscar. I mean, yeah. it's so exciting. <laughs> Your best supporting, no actual full on best ever. Act. Yeah, I don't think it says best ever. I, I think it is. I think <laughs> they're finishing it now, they've stopped. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you won. Cool, um, it, but it must have been a bonkers night. I actually can't remember it. And we were saying backstage, we met, can't remember it. Helen, you've been nominated a couple of times for the Oscars. Yeah, I didn't win them. No, but you got nominated. <laughs> no, but I still didn't win them. But now, <laughs> is that, is that why you them? don't enjoy events like no, that? No, it's not that. I'm not very good at sitting still, so you have to have your hair and make sure really yeah. I'm really not good. <laughs> uh, so it's, uh, it, and they're long events. Yes. They do, but the great thing about the Oscars is that the bar is just there, just behind there. And so almost all the time, Everybody's everyone's in the bar. No one's sitting bar. in it. That's true. There are They're hundreds the of seat, seat fillers. fillers. Hundreds. Oh, really? So almost yeah, yeah. everybody is getting bladdered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then someone comes in and goes, we're up to the best documentary. And they go, and people are running in. <laughs> You're but running in? Bar most of the time. Oh, yeah, I was. I was there yeah. 90% of the time. Uh, but, yeah. Helena, I think one of the reasons that uh, Helena might enjoy the Oscars yeah. is because you can't <laughs> control who you bump into on the red carpet. I think we've got a picture of you Ooh. the year you were nominated for the King's Speech on the red carpet. Really? Look, at, look at Helena's thrilled oh. face. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the horror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. You, you, shot, you, no, I don't know. You, you just superimposed that. No, no. We've, no, no you just there have, are multiple you pictures. Have and what's so funny is there are multiple pictures, and we thought, oh, oh maybe we've picked an unfortunate picture. No, your face is like that in them all. <laughs> <laughs> Judgment, <laughs> yeah, oh, that was way before he became Donald Trump, wasn't it? We know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, we know yeah. what you mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, everybody's talking about uh, Olivia and uh, Helena in yeah, The Crown. But... Season 3 kicks off on the 17th of November on Netflix. And uh, Helena taking over Princess Margaret. Olivia's the Queen. Before we talk about it, let's have a look at the two of you of action. This is Princess Margaret coming back from a triumphant tour of America. You've had great, you've had, you've had, you've had no, great you, reviews. Are you thinking now we're uh, Claire Foy and Vanessa No, Kirby. I'm so not. Are you sure? A positive. So, so not. You. So not. Well, he has to say that with Yeah, I know, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but, one, you're both great in it. But two, it's interesting that certainly the first couple of episodes, they do play on this sort of, it's sweet sort of a sibling rivalry. Even though it's the Queen and Princess Margaret, they're properly kind of at each other. Well, sisters do, don't they? I mean, they're the most committed to each other. They're the only ones that know each other inside out because they were homeschooled and spent yeah, every day together. they had the war together. The war together. together. The war. I don't think they spent the most of their childhood yeah. alone together, so I think... So they knew each other before they were meant to ever be in this position? Yes. And you have said, you have said, Olivia, that you're not a great one for the research. <laughs> Understatement. But... <laughs> yes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love No, but you <laughs> must have done, you must have done some for this. No. You must have done some for this. <clears throat> um, I, yep. No. <laughs> you you licked a stamp. <laughs> well, we were all given lovely Polly, who's a movement coach, and I just, it turns out, I can't change what my body does. So I still walk like me, which is, I've been told, quite like Bomber. a farmer. And no, so I have to say, I, there's a scene in it, and it's you and Prince Philip walking up the garden. Is it filmed on the back of my head? No, it's oh. the two of you walking up towards you out in the garden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you know, you Did you say farmer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So does I, the Queen do arms? Yeah. Well, 
Yeah. Every now and then, when I'm really concentrating, I can get a little bit right. So I might, was I doing that as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at it. But, no, but you go to extraordinary lengths to research I go things. to ridiculous things. I don't think it necessarily is necessary. But I enjoy it. I do but enjoy it. But you love it. I love it. And I you, like the... Um, did you, were you brilliant at school at research and projects? Yeah, I was a swat. Shit at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then you've got a friend, is it a, a friend of yours who's a psychic? Oh, God. Ooh. Yeah. You know, this is my favourite bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how one story comes out and then it obliterates. So it's it's well, the defining thing. In fairness, oh, yeah. other actors going, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to hear more. I want to hear... Well, look, yeah, I did um, meet a psychic who's a friend of mine and I was seeing her. She's got lots and lots of different um, strings to her bow and she does healing and she does... Um, other things and but she also has a, um, a talent for mediumship and as I was do, seeing her for something else she said oh Margaret is here does that mean anything and I, and I said yes it does and I suddenly thought well I've got if this I play, is before you get before I had been asked to play her I hadn't actually said yes at that point oh. and uh, I said well yeah no actually if you've got the horse you know the horse's mouth it's in the room you're not going to say yes. no actually you know so and so I said, um, yeah. And I asked, I said, would you mind if I played you? And uh, the, she said, I Despite prefer you. Despite what she the said, answer was. No, she <laughs> said, well, no, she did say, I, I think you're a better idea than the other actor. Ooh. The other idea. Well, the other, you know, the other. Who was the other? They never told me the other, the other possibility. But <laughs> whether it was... But there's not, the sound that, of a lone gunshot right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But there are, it was a very typically, a typical Margaret thing. in Because you had met her. I have met her. She had a she had a way. Oh, yeah, a couple of times. This? Yeah, yeah. You see the not. But, um, <laughs> but then, she had a little way of sometimes complimenting you and putting you down at the same time. She was, um, and the fact that she said, oh, "Yeah, I think you're better than the other." It was just like you never knew where you were with her. Then she came through with another note, which was useful. Whether it came, whether it was true because the psychic was fantastically intuitive, or there really was the ghost of Margaret telling me, I don't, I don't know. But the note was good, and she said, "Get the smoking right." Okay. And I smoked in a particular way and always remember that the mm. cigarette holder is as much a weapon for expression as anything else. And that was a good note. And she was somebody who was innately dramatic. If you're royal, you can't necessarily talk much. You're a walking icon. You're a walking... So she was very, she was very I think, <laughs> conscious about the silhouette and whatever she did with her body and particularly with her hands. And so, you know, anyway... Am I waxing? No, no, I love you. I just don't. <laughs> don't I just, I, I, you don't uh, believe in talking well, to dead people? No. I didn't say that. But also, the Queen's still alive. The Queen's still alive. There's many things I don't I know. believe other people do believe, and, and vice versa. And we respect so. our We do. I respect it. And whatever you've done, you. it's beautiful in the end anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we met on, on the radio, and we did a lovely chat, and yeah. then because Olivia and Helena were going to be here, um, I just thought, what a great opportunity to well, have you yes, on. yes, because we're Norfolk girls. Yes! I mean, we've got something tremendous in common. Yes. And did you live in North Norfolk? Yes. You did. So you know Holcomb? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I always want to ask, how, is that how you say it? Holcomb? Yes. Yes, how do you say it? Holcomb. Uh, exactly. yes. <laughs> you know when people say Holcomb and miss out the L? No, no, well, that's wrong. But wrong! Wrong! <laughs> <laughs> and actually, we should, we should explain, we should explain that, um, that uh, Lady and Connor in, is mm. going to be, not you, you sort of are a character in The Crown. Yes, yes. I have somebody playing me. Yeah, Nancy Nancy. Carroll. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, she's, she's my best friend. Uh, uh, good. I mean, not in real life. Uh, but <laughs> But I, mean, I, I thought friends. I might have to curtsy to you when I came on. And then I, I thought that should. was a bit cheesy. No, I think it's cheesy. Should we try it? But, <laughs> well, well, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, the, but talk, 